Hello and welcome to Lazy Cinema, and on this episode, we're going to see how Benedict Cumberbatch will tackle Dr. Stephen Strange, who is a surgeon who has everything, but when a fatal car crash takes away the use of his hands and renders him useless in his own mind, it will take the power of one extraordinary powerful woman to show him what it means to be the Sorcerer Supreme and to show him the power that he had to take on an unnecessary likely foe in Marvel's Doctor Strange. Marvel Doctor Strange is a fantastic and phenomenal exploration origin story for a superhero who does not have most recognition except for a 1978 TV promo and a 2007 film. So how did the 2017 film 10 years after that pale to configure? It does a brilliant job bringing out Benedict Cumberbatch as the great Dr. Stephen Strange, who's a doctor unlike any other, but sadly when he takes away the loss of his hands, he turns into somebody more worthless and pathetic before he realizes that he's made for something greater and better. Rachel McAdams does a phenomenal performance as his mother's slash uh, interest, which would be the woman known as Christine, which is also joined by Tilda Swifton, who does an amazing job of showing us the power of the Agent One, Maz Mickelson, who does a phenomenal performance as well as the villain Caricius, and also <coughs> Switcho Ishidor. I believe that's how you pronounce his name, if I didn't, I'm sorry. I think wonderful Bill Immortal who shows how far that he has come before he ends up breaking himself. Doctor Strange is an exceptional, excelled film in both quality over quantity with showing us a great story propelled by brilliant actors which gives us phenomenal and beautiful CGI animation that is a mind bender definitely and it's something worse to be seen than more than CGI. Directed by the great Scott Derrickson, he really showed us how much he cares for a character who has little to no recognition, especially showing us how much that he respects the character to even aspiring uh, Dudo Amamu realm straight from Steve Ditko's artwork, which is just phenomenal in and, of, in and of itself. And especially with the grand performance by Benedict Cumberbatch, I last saw in Spider-Man No Way Home. And this film exceeds at showing us the greatness of Doctor Strange. The only thing I wish that this film would have done just a little bit more was show us the Doctor's background, including maybe adding his character, like his sister for example, to propel the character even further. But the story ended up picking it up even more and giving me much more to care about for the Doctor himself, including giving us a reason and why he is so selfish and full of himself because he's afraid of something that we cannot control as humans. And really, he excels at also showing us at how far he can become as a man who has a simple disability and chooses to overlook it by the time it needs to. And also, the after credit sequence is showing us a comic true propelled Doctor Strange was just genius in the making. If you haven't seen Marvel Doctor Strange with the Multiverse of Madness coming out this year, I highly recommend it and I hope to do a review of Multiverse of Madness coming either this year or next year. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Do a little magic yourself by liking this video, subscribing if you haven't already, and follow me in a magical world of Twitter with a link in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm Lazy Universe. So thank you for watching this Lazy Cinema episode of Doctor Strange, and I will see you next time.